Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla from Kayla's Cricut Creations and today we're diving into Dollar Tree Cricut Easter projects. I found so many great Dollar Tree blanks and I'll show you how I transform these into fun Easter creations using the Cricut machine. A lot of these projects make cute decor ideas or great Easter basket stuffers. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on my Cricut videos. And now let's get into the video. For my first project, I found these adorable fabric gift bag bunnies at the Dollar Tree. There was two different kinds that had two different patterns on the ears. I thought these would be really cute to personalize names on the ears. These would be great for like grandkids, your own kids, if you do anything for like school classes or preschool. You can put the name on the front or the inside of the ear, but when I held the bag up, it kind of just laid where you can see the outside of it better, so I decided that's where I would put the name. When choosing a vinyl color, I like to take a color from the bag and match it up with my vinyl. So I picked kind of a coral color to match the nose and a little bit of the cheeks. For the other one, I decided to match the drawstring and the inside purple color of the ear. I just found so many cute Dollar Tree Easter items this year, so I'm just really excited about this video. Next, I'll head into Cricut Design Space. First, I'm going to grab my font. The font I'm using is called September. I'm just going to type in my daughter's names. I'm also going to type in the year 2024, and I'm going to duplicate it in a minute. I decided for the sizing I want to do about two and a half inches for the width, so I'll change Quinn to two and a half inches. And for the rest of it, I'm actually just going to take the font size and make everything else the same font size. I like to do this a lot because it makes everything look really uniform. So I'm actually just going to change this to 77 to make it easier. So then I'll go to Emmy and type in 77. It makes it about two and a half, so I could have just done two and a half for the width also, just because their names are similar in length. Then for 2024, I'll type in 77 also, and then I am just going to come up to my right, and I am going to duplicate that. I'm going to make Quinn pink, and for Emmy, I'm going to be cutting it out on purple heat transfer vinyl. I'm on the Make It screen. I'm going to move this apart just a little bit. It makes it easier to take my scissors and cut in between here. And I'll do the same thing for this. And then I am going to mirror both of these because they are heat transfer vinyl. For my first one, I'm just going to select Everyday Iron On. But then when it goes to the next one, I am going to switch it to Holographic. Uh, I don't have it saved in here. For the purple one, I'll be choosing Holographic Iron On. Iron On Vinyl is specifically Cricut brand. I'm not using Cricut brand. I'm using Heat Transfer Vinyl from Tech Wrap, but this setting works really well for it. So for the first one, I will select Everyday Iron On. I'm using Caesar Easy Weed. I place it shiny side down, then I load it into the Cricut machine to cut it out. My other bag, I'm using Tech Wrap Metallic Pearlescent HTV. I love putting some tape on the vinyl and labeling it. Otherwise, I completely forget what vinyl I'm using. Then I go in and weed out my vinyl. Can you believe Easter is so early this year? It's on March 31st, and as a mom of three kids, it just stresses me out. There's so much to do and so little time. I accidentally tried to weed out part of the queue. You can see where I kind of poked it right there. But I think once I heat it through, it'll be fine using my Cricut Easy Press Mini and I set it to the medium setting. I preheat the ears first and I was trying to decide which way I wanted my vinyl to face but I think with it facing inward it looks a little bit better. I add the 2024 on the other side of the ear then I'm ready to press this. I use a Teflon sheet to protect the bag and I press it for 25 seconds on each side. Then I go in and remove the carrier sheets. On the Dollar Tree's website, it says this is made out of polyester. It kind of feels like canvas material to me. Either way, the vinyl just adheres so well to these bags. Then I follow the same steps for the other bag. I just love this heat transfer vinyl by Tech Wrap. I wish that I had a matching one that was a coral color, but I didn't. You can see the material coming through this vinyl a little bit more, but that's a good thing. That means that it adhered really well. The shimmer to this vinyl is just so pretty. 
Aren't these bunnies just so adorable? You can put candy inside. Also, the Dollar Tree had a lot of cute little stuff like bubbles, stamps, little bunny erasers, and things like that. My kids don't do a school party for Easter, so I'm trying to think what I would use this for. I could put it in their Easter baskets. If you pick these up, what are you using them for? For my next project, I found these super adorable like plastic mason jar cups, and I'll go over to Cricut Design Space first. I thought it would be really cute to put a monogram on these cups, and I'm going to use the monogram feature in Cricut Design Space. I'm making this for my two daughters, so I'm going to put their initials in here. There's so many to choose from, but I just really love this circle one. It's pretty simple, but I still think it's so cute. I'll hit Add to Canvas, then I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to be using white vinyl for both of these, and since I'm using just one vinyl sheet, I don't have to change the color to white. I can keep both of these black. For my size, I measured about how wide I wanted it to be on the cup, and I thought two inches looked like it would be good, so I am just going to change both of these to two inches for the width. And since it's a circle, it's basically two by two. I'll use vinyl for my cut setting. I'm using permanent vinyl that I found from my scrap bin. I love projects like this where I'm using up my scrap vinyl because the project is just so inexpensive. I usually put these type of cups in my kids' Easter baskets, but once they get it, Easter's over, so I put all my Easter stuff away. So I'm actually going to give it to them as soon as this is done so they can use it throughout the month of March. Use rubbing alcohol to clean off the cups. Sitting at the Dollar Tree, it gets pretty dirty and the vinyl just doesn't stick as well, so I always make sure to clean the surface first. I'm using my Caesar transfer tape to add the vinyl. This is my go-to transfer tape. I talk about it a lot on my channel because I searched, I don't know, I feel like a couple years to find a good transfer tape, so I'll make sure to link this down in my description box. A lot of times adding a round vinyl to a round cup, you have to cut slits in the transfer tape, but I actually didn't have to. It laid down really well, probably because the design wasn't too big. I'm using the same transfer tape to the other vinyl sheet. I like to do this to save on my transfer tape. I always remove the backing. It makes it easier for the vinyl to stick to that transfer tape. Also, I press down on the center first and then work my way out on the vinyl. It makes it a lot easier for it to lay down flat. The Dollar Tree had blue and purple colors as well. Here's how these turned out. It just looks so cute. It adds a special little touch to it. If you do decide to put this in an Easter basket, you can even put candy inside. I think that would be adorable. Next, I found this sign at the Crafter Square section, and I just feel like Dollar Tree knows that Cricut crafters are shopping there because they have a ton of cute blanks lately. First, I'm going to grab my SVG, and I'll bring it into Cricut Design Space. I found the SVG on Creative Fabrica. Look how cute this bundle is. This is where I get most of my fonts and my images for Cricut Design Space. I pay for their membership so I can download whatever I want on their website. It looks like they still have this Valentine's deal going on where you can pay for the yearly membership. So you pay all at once for the year, but it's just $47 and it comes out to $3.99 a month. That's just a crazy good deal to be able to download whatever you want from their website. They have tons and all of them come with a commercial license. So I just always recommend this website. I'll put a link down in my description box. You can also try it out for free and download up to 10 items so you can kind of try it out as well. I'm going to be using this as a stencil and I'm going to be using two different paint colors. The Bunny and Candy Co. is going to be pink and the rest is going to be with green paint. However, since this is a stencil, I need it to be all one color. I'm just going to be cutting it out on one vinyl sheet. All of this is grouped together but nothing is attached so I'm just going to come down here and click attach and it'll automatically change it to all one color too. Also, the last video I posted was an ultimate guide to Cricut Design Space, and I go over every single detail of Cricut Design Space. So if you're new to Cricut Design Space or you've been using it for a while, definitely go check out that video. I have a ton of other little tips and hacks thrown in the video as well. I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller and move it to the side. Then I'm going to grab a guide. I'm just going to make this the size of my blank which was 6.875. I'm going to right click and send this to the back, then I'll just bring my design in and I'll just size it. I think that looks great. 
Since this is a stencil, I want to bring it down just a little bit. I want to have a little bit of space on the top and the left. This gives you a little extra space so when you're adding that paint, it will go onto that vinyl instead of onto your blank. I'll select vinyl for my cut setting. I add my vinyl to the mat. I'm using permanent vinyl and it doesn't matter what color you're using because it's just used as a stencil. When I went to weed it, the letters were a complete disaster, so I decided to try a different vinyl sheet. I used the same setting but selected more for my cut setting and that worked a lot better. When weeding this, you're going to do the opposite of what you normally do. You're going to weed out your actual design, that way it makes it into a stencil where you can add that paint. On the way bottom, for both of the A's, I lost the inside of it. This font is just so tiny, so it makes it difficult when weeding. To add the vinyl stencil to my blank, I'm using transfer tape, so I place transfer tape over the whole thing, then I just remove the backing of the vinyl. I was struggling a little bit to remove that backing, so I grab my scraper tool and I press it right up against it and that helps a ton. Add my vinyl and whatever angle I was at, it looked like it was straight, but then it ended up being a little crooked, but that's okay. After I burnish it down, I remove the transfer tape. When I'm doing a stencil, I like to press my finger around all the little letters and images just to make sure it's pressed down well to help prevent any paint from seeping through. I decided to add Mod Podge before adding my paint. I don't always do this, but I do feel like it helps to get those straight paint lines. The top of 1978 is right where that space is, so hopefully that doesn't look weird once it's painted, but we'll see. I let that Mod Podge dry, but the paint I'm using is Apple Barrel from Walmart. It's Cameo Pink in Parakeet, I think is what it's called. This is by far my favorite acrylic paint. I've tried others from Michaels, but I always go back to this, and it's also just inexpensive as well. For my stencils, I like to use cheap makeup sponges from Amazon, and I just do kind of like a pouncing motion. I also don't grab too much paint at a time. I scrape some of it off. Otherwise, if you just have globs of paint on there, it will seep through that vinyl. It's been a long time since I've done a stencil project, and I completely forgot how fun it is. I just find it so relaxing, and I just love it. Now I'm ready to add my green vinyl. When I poured the green out, I thought it looked very bright and I was a little nervous, but I actually do end up liking the color I chose. I decided just to do one coat of paint. I could have let it dry and add more, but I just kind of liked the look where it wasn't totally covered because it gave it more of that rustic look, and that's kind of how this blank looks. I don't let the paint totally dry. When I've done that in the past, then the paint starts to flake off and I don't have those crisp lines. I take my pen pen tool to remove the inside of the letters, which works really well. I just have to be careful since it's still just a tiny bit wet when I'm removing them. I found these colorful wood beads at the Dollar Tree and I picked it up even though I didn't have a project idea because I just knew I wanted to do something with it. I decided this project will be perfect to replace these plain wood beads with the colorful Easter color beads. I just untied one side of the twine and removed those wood beads. I picked four colors that I wanted to use and did a little pattern and it was a little difficult to thread the wood beads through the twine. I just twisted it up as best as I could and I was able to make it work. It was a little bit of a slow process though. I also had quite a bit left over, so I'm trying to think what else I could make with them. What would you guys make with these? After I had them all added, I just tied a knot just like how it was before. Here's how this turned out. I love the extra touch with the colored wood beads, and the green and pink match the paint really well also. Now I just have to decide where I want to put this in my house. For my next project, I found this little wood palette. It's four inches by six inches, and I thought it would be fun to do something with this. I also found these adorable wood bunnies and carrots. I picked these up. I didn't have an idea just yet of what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to do something with these. First, I'm going to paint the palette, and I have a really great hack. I like to take a baby wipe. I put the paint directly on the baby wipe, and then I start brushing it over the wood. This gives it a stained look without actually having to use wood stain, which it just gets kind of messy. It has a strong smell, and for little projects like this, this is just so much easier. 
look how nice this looks once it's done and you can still kind of see that wood coming through it so I just love this look the paint I'm using is called nutmeg brown I arranged the bunnies and carrots on the wood palette kind of how I want it to look then I take my hot glue gun and I glue everything down. Since there's three bunnies, I thought about adding vinyl with my kids' names on it, but I decided not to do that. I do add vinyl to it, so I'll show you that in a second. I decided I'll be adding vinyl to that top slat, so I'll show you what I do in Cricut Design Space. To figure out my size, first I'm gonna grab a guide. I'm putting the vinyl on the very top slat, so I measured that and I'm going to make that my guide. So that was six by 0.875. I'll change that to a guide. You don't have to do it this way, but I find it a lot easier to figure out my sizing for a lot of my projects. Then I'll go to text and I am going to grab a font. I'm gonna use black rose. I'm gonna type in carrot patch. I thought that was super cute. And I'll just bring it over here and size it inside the guide. Okay, that looks good. I'm using white vinyl so I don't have to change the color. I'll select vinyl for my cut setting. I'm using scrap vinyl again for this project and since each piece was $1.25, this project is just under $4 to make. I definitely miss when Dollar Tree was just a dollar though. I add the vinyl using transfer tape and this little touch to the project I think is so cute. This makes just the cutest little decor piece. I think I'm going to put it on a circular tray that I have in my kitchen, but I just love how it turned out. For my next project in the dollar plus section, so these were $3, I found these fluorescent jumbo eggs and I thought they were super fun. You can use these in place of Easter baskets for your kids. I like to do the traditional Easter baskets, but you can also set it next to the Easter baskets with some goodies inside, so it's so cool. If you have grandkids, this would be a really fun Easter gift as well, and I just picture this for Easter egg hunts. We do that every year and just having a few of the jumbo ones in the yard too with something fun inside. I'll head over to Design Space and show you how I personalize these. I'm going to upload my SVG. I'm going to go over to the layers panel and I'm going to ungroup this. I'm just going to group together this top section and then I'm going to group together the bottom section. Now I'm going to grab my font. I'm using rainbow and I'm going to type in my girl's names. I'm just going to move this down and I'm going to bring Quinn over here. I'm going to highlight over all of this and I'm going to go up to align. I'll select center horizontally and you can see it move to the left a little bit. I just wanted Quinn right in the middle. Now I'm going to highlight over the whole entire thing and I am going to hit command D to duplicate it. I'm just going to delete Quinn's name. I'm going to bring Emmy to the top. Then I'm just going to line her name up underneath here too. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to highlight over both of these and I am just going to center horizontally. Now I'm just going to attach these together and I'm going to attach both of these. Then I'm going to come down here and attach the feet. Amy's going to be on pink final, so I'll change it to pink. And Quinn is going to be on purple vinyl. Now for my sizing, I decided to do four inches for the width for both of these. I just measured my egg to make sure that that looked okay and it looked great. Here's what it looks like on the Make It screen. I'll select holographic vinyl for my cut setting. I'm using TechWrap Chrome Vinyl. I thought that would be so fun to add to the iridescent eggs. This vinyl has a protective film over it, so normally what I do is I throw my whole roll of vinyl on my mat, but for this I don't want to do that, so I take my paper cutter and I just cut the vinyl down to whatever size I need for my design. For the longest time, I didn't know that you could pull out a ruler from your paper cutters, and it's just so awesome because you just pull the vinyl up to whatever size you want it, and then you can cut it and it's the exact size that you need. Add my vinyl to the mat. I use my brayer tool to make sure it's placed down well and the Cricut will cut it out. Then I'll follow the same steps for the purple one. I also make sure to remove that protective layer. If you bought these jumbo eggs, I would love to hear what you're doing with them as well or what type of design you're putting on them. 
these eggs and vinyl were hard to film because they're reflective, so you can see me in the background of both of them. Here I'm just weeding out the vinyl. I feel like I never have issues weeding tech wrap vinyl. It's so nice compared to like Cricut vinyl or something. I just struggle a lot of times with Cricut vinyl. Sometimes it's okay, but it's definitely hit or miss. I also love my pen pen tool to get out all those little pieces. Before adding vinyl to the egg, I just clean it off with rubbing alcohol. I was going to put this next to my girl's Easter baskets, but my daughter saw it in my craft room and she wanted to play with it already. She loves anything shiny and things like that. I definitely struggled with this design because it's going on a round surface, so I cut slits in the transfer paper. The ears were just a struggle to lay flat, so I decided to press everything else down, then remove the transfer tape, and then I decided to fix it after the transfer tape was off. This vinyl thankfully wasn't too hard to lift it back up and just smooth it out. I thought it would be cute to add the feet on the bottom part of the egg. Then I go in and add the purple vinyl. I just love how the vinyl matches so well with the eggs. It just makes me happy when that happens. Sometimes I'm just totally off with my vinyl color choices and I am just so happy with this. I decided to add the vinyl the exact same way where I just left the ears and fixed it after I removed the transfer tape. Here's how these turned out. Here's another fun wood blank that I found at the Dollar Tree with the crafter square. It says wood hanging decor. I also found this little chick ornament that I thought I could add to the wood blank. First what I'm going to do is paint this. I'm using the cameo pink again because it's just such a pretty spring and Easter color. I love finding little pieces like this at the Dollar Tree, at the Target Bullseye section, at Walmart. I feel like I'm just always out looking for it just because I have that Cricut mindset like what can I add vinyl to? I'm going to let this dry then I'm going to paint one of the chicks. Since there's a lot left over I figured I could let my kids color or decorate the chicks as well. It's just a quick and easy craft project for them. I forgot to show the paint color but this is called Sunny Day. I always overestimate how much paint I'm going to use, but I like to just use my paintbrush to scoop it back into the paint jar. First, I'm going to make a guide, like always, and I am going to make this the size of my little wood piece. That was 4.5 by 17.75. I'll grab a font. The font I'm using is Bright Melody, and I am going to type in Easter in all caps. And I'm just hitting the enter button too. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, but I also want to bring my line spacing closer together. So I'll come up to my line spacing and do that real fast. I'll bring it over here. I actually just brought in a little chick from Cricut Design Space. This is just going to help me figure out my sizing for the other font. So I'll grab my text again and I am going to grab the font rainbow and I'm just going to type in happy. I'll bring it over here. It's going to be kind of angled like this. I measured my chick and I decided I wanted to make happy two and a half inches for the width. I'm going to be using blue vinyl for both of the fonts. So I'll just change both of those to blue. I realize I can make the chick a guide too. So that's kind of nice. One thing that I like about that is I don't have to delete it. I can just go to the make it screen and it won't show up on there. So it's really cool. Since Easter goes past the 12 inch line, I do need to use my 12 by 24 inch mat. I'll select vinyl for my cut setting. This is also tech wrap vinyl. I didn't have the color of the vinyl labeled, but I thought this was so pretty for a spring project. I decided to go in and add Mod Podge to my paint. I feel like the vinyl just adheres better to it and it obviously helps prevent the paint from chipping. While that's drying, I just go in and weed out my vinyl. Then I use hot glue to add my chick to the sign. 
Now I'm ready to add my vinyl using transfer tape. I ended up placing this down just a little bit crooked as well. And after I applied it, I thought I should have used the hinge method. The hinge method is amazing to make sure everything's lined up correctly. I actually have a video showing how to do it. It looks complicated at first, but it really is an easy way to make sure everything's lined up correctly. As I started pulling the transfer tape off, some of the Mod Podge and paint started to pick up, so I obviously did not wait for it to dry. I get a little impatient. I waited a little bit longer to have the chick dry, and that was fine. The transfer tape didn't pick any of it up. I decided to add some Easter color ribbon to the top. This was actually from Michael's because I forgot to pick some up at Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree has quite a few to choose from as well. I cut it a little too short and I wasn't sure how to tie it, so I decided just to take hot glue and just glue it to the back. I found those hot pink hot glue finger protectors at the Dollar Tree a while ago, so definitely snag those if you see them. It's definitely saved my finger a few times. <laughs> Here's how the hanging sign turned out. I ended up putting it on my front door. My front door is basically the color of an Easter egg, so it's perfect. Next, I found these Peeps set of four egg containers in the plus section for $5, and these are adorable. When you open it, there's a smaller Peep inside, and then when you open that, there's a smaller Peep and so on, and I just thought this was very cute. I knew I wanted to do something with my Cricut for these, so I decided to personalize them with names, but do you guys have any other ideas what you would use the Cricut for this or even what you would use these for? Because they're so fun, but I was kind of struggling with ideas. How adorable are these? I decided not to use the yellow one. I'm just going to use these three and personalize it with my kids' names. I'll click on text and grab my font. The font I'm using is JT Grove. If you've watched my YouTube channel for a while, you'll know that this is one of my favorite fonts. I just love it. And I'm going to type in all three of my kids' names. I'm using three different vinyl colors, so I'm going to change these to the color that goes with the vinyl I want it to cut off of. So I'll do pink for Quinn, blue for Josh, and then Emmy's is going to be purple. Now I just need to do my sizing. Quinn's is going to be on one of the bigger peeps. I measured it and I thought three inches for the width would be good. And then I decided to go down half an inch for each one. So Josh, I'm doing 2.5 inches. And for Emmy, I'm doing two inches. It's telling me to load my pink vinyl first. I'm using holographic vinyl, so I'm going to choose that for my cut setting. I'm using the same tech wrap chrome vinyl because I just think it's so pretty. I'm also matching up the vinyl color with the corresponding color of peep. I did this with the jumbo eggs too. I just think it's fun sometimes to have the same color vinyl on the same color blank. I grab my transfer tape and add the vinyl to the peeps. I lost my cue with this one so I just placed it back on. Even though I was kind of wanting to do something different than personalize these with names, I actually really liked how these turned out. This little purple one is for my two-year-old. My son is the oldest, but he is getting the smaller one, but I figured he'd probably want blue instead of pink. Look how adorable these are. I absolutely love them. I am going to put these in my kids' Easter baskets, and I'll have to think of something to put inside of them. Here is another gift bag I found. This one's really cute because it's a carrot. And once again, I'm going to personalize it with my kids' names. I found a really fun font that I'm going to use for it. On text, then I'll go up to my font. The font I'm using is called Wonderful Easter. So first, I'm just going to type in their names. This font comes with little bunny ears, so I am going to go grab that. I'm on a Mac, so I'll search for my font book. I'm going to double click in Wonderful Easter, then I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Here's the little bunny ears. To do this, I am going to hit copy. Then I am going to go over here and I'll select text. I still have Wonderful Easter pulled up and I am just going to hit Command V on my keyboard to paste it. Look how cute that is. I just think it's so cute. Then I'm going to go up to my top right and I'll hit duplicate and I'm going to add this to Quinn's as well. I'm just going to rotate hers a little bit. So I want to go back into my font book. 
I saw this Y and I thought it looked fun, so I'm going to use that as well. Sadly, they only had a few letters like this. I'm not sure why it didn't have every letter in the alphabet. So I couldn't change Quinn to anything fun, but I'm going to change the Y for Emmy. So what I'm going to do is just hit delete, then I'll hit command V to paste on my keyboard. And look how fun that is. I love it. Now what I'm going to do is attach Emmys, and then I'll attach Quinn with her bunny ears. For the sizing, I'll do three inches for the width for both of them. I'll click on mirror. Then I'll select Everyday Iron-On for my cut setting. I'm using Caesar Easy Weed, and I found this vinyl like way back in my stash of vinyl, and it was incredibly difficult to weed, which usually this is extremely easy to weed. So I have a feeling it's pretty old, like maybe I've had it for several years. I'm using my Easy Press Mini again, and I basically follow the same process as the bunny bags from the beginning. I just really like the bunny ears on the font and I feel like it's so fitting with the carrot bags. This is another really inexpensive thing that you can make, especially because it comes in a two pack and you can use scrap vinyl once again. And here's how these turn out. I have one last project I want to share, even though this is not a Dollar Tree project. I made it before I decided my YouTube video was going to be just Dollar Tree. I found this at Walmart's new little dollar section. I'm not sure what it's called, but it was $3 and it's a chalkboard sign. I thought the chalk was attached at first and it wasn't, which is awesome. What's nice about this is you can add something to the front and the back of it. I don't have the Cricut Design Space portion of this because I added this later, but I did find this design on Creative Fabrica. I weed out my vinyl, then I add my transfer tape. Just love the color of this chalkboard. It's the perfect Easter and spring color. Do you guys have luck in your Walmart section because it is so hit or miss for me. Sometimes I find tons of stuff, other times there's nothing. <laughs> Here's how this turned out. I just love it, so I wanted to add it to the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which one's your favorite. Also, I would love to hear what you're creating for spring and Easter.